everyone for coming. This will be um, probably our last college signing for uh, 2015. And y'all can go ahead and have a seat if you want. We got to stand for this whole speech. All right. Um, very exciting. Uh, always do college signings down here at Franklin High School. Um, and we got we have four individuals that will be signing, uh, or at least committing to play sports at the next level next year, and that is always super exciting. I'd like to welcome, uh, welcome all of our parents, uh, all the coaches and teachers that came out. Um, Mr. Qualls came out, Williamson County Athletic Specialist. Um, Zach Muir is here, for everybody that didn't know. <laughs> and uh, we're super excited. So we'll get started. I'm gonna talk, talk a little bit about each person, and then we'll take several pictures. Um, I would like to ask that we wait till um, all the signings are done before you guys take pictures with your teammates and friends and whoever else you want to take pictures with in front of the Power F. All right, so let's begin with our first uh, senior today, uh, Brittany Sams. Brittany Sams has cheered for Franklin High School on the varsity and competition teams for the last four years. During her career as an FHS cheerleader, Brittany has stood out as a leader academically and as an athlete. She served as team captain this year for the varsity football and basketball squads, as well as the competition team. Brittany has received numerous awards during her time in Franklin. Uh, she was four-time UCA All-American cheerleader, most improved in 2012, won the Rebel Award in 2013, Coaches Award in 2014 and Heart of a Rebel in 2015. As busy as Brittany stayed being part of the varsity cheerleading for football and basketball and competing with the Franklin High School competition team, she remained focused on her scholastic endeavors and maintained a cumulative GPA of 4.3. Because of her hard work and dedication to her education, she will graduate in the top 10% of her class. Brittany also shares her talents and times with many organizations and philanthropies throughout our community as a member of the Franklin Girls Cotillion Club, National Honor Society, Student Government, and Mu Alpha Theta. Brittany's been awarded an athletic scholarship as well as an academic scholarship to Belmont University, where she will major in chemistry with an emphasis in pre-health this fall. Brittany was named a member of the nationally ranked Belmont University co-ed cheerleading team for the 2015-2016 season. Congratulations, Brittany Sams, Belmont University. <laughs> Now, if we can get kind of a posed look where you're like holding the pen and everybody's smiling at the cameras, look at, look at Eli. All right. All right. Congratulations, Brittany. Thank you. Uh, these guys are going to the same school, so they wanted to do it together. Uh, we have. Gracia Katera and Matthew Gonzalez are both going to be attending Bethel University to play football next fall. I'll start with Gracia. Gracia Katera uh, began playing football at the age of 12 for the Grassland Generals. Although, although it was Gra Gracia's first year of football, not only did he make the team, he was also announced as a starter. Since he's turned into a young man with an unbelievable high football IQ, Tremendous work ethic on and off the field. Gracia always set high goals for himself as a kid, and he would always tell his mother about how he would make her proud and pursue his dream of playing college football one day. Gracia is a three-year varsity letterman as a member of the Rebels football team, and was named to the 2014 preseason All-Williamson County football team. At the end of 2014 season, Gracia finished with 75 solo tackles, 105 total tackles, two, two fumble recoveries, 22 passes deflected, along with a total of eight interceptions. Gracia's most memorable high school football highlight was getting the game-winning interception against Brentwood in the 2013 season that sealed the 24-21 win by, oh, by Franklin. Gracia would like to thank Coach Webb, Coach Tomlinson, and the rest of the football coaching staff at FHS for mentoring, encouraging him, and always pushing him to do his best, along with other teachers and administrators at Franklin High School. Gracia would also like to thank his family for their love and support, as well as his friends and teammates who have challenged him to become a better player in person. Gracia Katera. Matthew Gonzalez. Matt, Matt began playing football at the age of six. In the early years, he played running back. 
As Matt got older, his passion for football grew. He would say to his brother and mom that he was going to play college football, just watch and see. Things changed quickly for Matt when he got to middle school. He was tested in ways that he wasn't prepared for. When he was told from the coaches he was cut from the team, he was devastated. For a short period, he didn't want anything to do with football anymore. Through Matthew's faith, following his heart, and being encouraged by family and friends, he decided he would work hard and prove to everyone, but more importantly himself, he could play football and do anything he sets his mind to. Matt didn't really get to play a full season of football in high school until his junior year. By Matt's senior year, after two games, he began starting safety and never looked back. Matthew had 34 solo tackles and 18 assists with a total of 52 tackles, along with two interceptions. Matthew's biggest highlight was returning a 100-yard interception against Shelbyville this past season. Beyond football, this year Matthew was selected by the administration of Franklin High School to be awarded for the Rotary Good Citizen Award. Matthew would like to thank Coach Webb, Coach Weeks, and Coach Tomlinson for mentoring him and encouraging him and always pushing him to do his best. Along with other teachers, Matt would like to thank Coach Gillespie and Mr. Watson for their support and believing in him. <laughs> Matthew would also like to thank his teammates and friends for their support. They have helped him become a better player and more importantly, a better person. Lastly, Matt would like to thank his family for always being there to love and support him. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Gonzalez. You guys can uh, go ahead and sign. Get a picture of that. You look good at part <laughs> And if we get a posed picture of you guys holding the pins, Matt. <laughs> Everybody smile towards Eli. Smile <laughs> And one more time. Let's give it up for Matt Gonzalez. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Tanner Spaulding. Tanner committed yesterday to Barry College in uh, Rome, Georgia. Tanner Spalding played for the Franklin Rebels basketball team for four years. He started varsity during his junior and senior years. After coming back from an ACL injury in May of last year, he was able to return to play for his senior season. He led the team in rebounds and charges taken with 25 total for the season and was awarded Franklin High School's Defensive Player of the Year. He averaged 8.5 points per game and 5.8 rebounds per game. Tanner is active in his community. He has, been he has been a volunteer for the past four years with Snooty Giggles Dog Rescue and has raised money. I think we're supposed to laugh at that, aren't we? And he's raised money and volunteered for Williamson's Medical Breast Health Center in memory of his grandmother who lost her battle with breast cancer when he was in middle school and in honor of his mother who was diagnosed with breast cancer during his sophomore year in high school. Tanner plans to major in marketing and public relations at Berry College. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Tanner Spalding. will conclude our signings. Uh, if you would like to take pictures with your teammates,